Hey you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into your Sun, Moon and as well rising sign for the week 18th of January up until the 24th of January 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which link you are going to find into the description down below there at the very front page you are going to see the full list of my services as well their prices and depending on your budget and uh, your needs you can purchase whatever service suits you best. Upon purchase within 24 hours I'm going to contact you via email so make sure you do check your spam and junk folder as well because sometimes the email provider likes to throw my messages in those folders. And also if you are interested in Tarot, you want to learn to read Tarot I'm offering as well tarot classes in case you want to check them out. Uh, they are under the tarot classes section. So with that being said, guys, um, I hope you do enjoy the show. Right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon and as well Libra Rising. Uh, general tarot reading for the upcoming week, guys. And just give me a second here to shuffle the cards and uh, we are to see... What experiences you are to uh, you are to have throughout the week? Right. So uh, the first one we got that is going to be the Two of Swords. Uh, moving next, that will be the Ten of Swords, followed by the Devil card. The the next one that will be the Page of Pentacles, and uh, the last one we have here we do have the Two of Wands for you, Libra. Right. Uh, the, the start of the week for you, towards the middle of the week, it will be a very important period for what it seems uh, from those cards. So I usually go card by card, but these two are very much linked together. Okay, these two, the two of swords and the ten of swords after that. So with the Two of Swords uh, at the start of the week, you alone are going to slow down your pace in terms of career, in terms of relationship, it doesn't matter. That is because, uh, well, well, it could be for a few reasons. The, uh, the first reason, it could be that <clears throat> you may find out that you are uh, being beguiled into do or think stuff that are not exactly as accurate as you may have thought beforehand or in generally that you know certain options available are not as they have been presented uh, in other words at the start of the week there will be some informations popping up here and there that will allow you to see your situations either career wise or either relationship wise as well uh, from a, a little bit different view actually in a much much different view and in a much different sight if, if I can say it that way. And so at that particular point into the first couple of days entering into the week, you are to slow down your pace, like I said, for the reason being so you can um, kind of like, first of all, hang into the equilibrium that it is out there. So you do not allow the situation to escalate based on these new facts or these new arguments that you do come across. And the second reason is that you do want to decide what, what to do from now on. But before you decide what to do, you got to consider all points of view. And that process is going to be uh, abnormal for the two of swords. It will be a very, very fast process, you know, uh, because usually it takes weeks and even months to make a decision based on the two of swords. But for you, it's going to take days and probably hours as well, because uh, right after that, we do have the ten. Of swords and ten of swords marks the moment when you do made up your mind you do make your retrospective you know you do draw the line with these new with that new information with these new arguments uh, you drew the line or you are to draw the line depending on when you are watching that video and um, then you made a uh, or you are to make um, an analysis what you win what you lose how you, uh, what the future looks like after you do make your action or you do make, a, or you do take on your decision. 
but at that point from the start towards the middle of the week you are to be very determined Libra to um, enter into a new era into a new dawn of era uh, it's kind of like leaving behind not exactly the old but the uh, the shady businesses and, and the shady situations uncovering everything and after that you know embarking say a clear and, and not just only clear but as well a, a path of purity if I may say it that way so with the Ten of Swords, uh, what I like to say about that card, and especially in your case here, it is where you do finally, um, not well, yeah, finally have all the information and the means necessary to make your move. And your move is, uh, if it is a decision, is irrevocable decision. If it is an action, it is a uh, irreversible action. But right after that happens, a new era comes into your life. I mean, a new dawn. You are striving toward the um, rising sun on the horizon. So it's a new dawn in your life. And right after that thing happened, right, right after you make that tough call or these really drastic, drastic actions and drastic decisions uh, and drastic, drastic measures, I'm sorry, and a new dawn is start rising into your horizon here with the devil card. Because at the start, at the middle of the week, you're going to feel the freedom right after, you know, you go through this, say, poignant and uh, stagnated kind of like period of time or an energy or an influence, whichever way you want to uh, you want to name it here, the situation with the two of swords and the ten of swords. But the devil here points that right after you do make those drastic uh, measures or actions or these irrevocable decisions, then things open up for you. Uh, and with the devil, you get to decide what circumstances you want to either work under or whatever circumstances either you want to be in a relationship with. Um, now that I said relationship, that is just a speculation here because the reading is general and not for every single one of you guys is going to develop that way. But if you do come with me about a, um, for example, a problem in a relationship and I have those cards, I, there is two ways how that thing could develop. One of the ways where the relationship gets severed because you, again, you do come up to some kind of an information or something. And, and by the way, whichever, whatever you do decide, you know, it will bring you peace here with the two of swords. But that's that's besides the point. So the relationship gets severed and that frees you and you do realize how attractive you are and how much people you do kind of like um, make an, an impression into. And then you can kind of like jump into a next interaction, dating and etc, etc, under your circumstances uh, and, uh, and criteria rather than to, to be obliged by somebody else. That is just an example of how these cards could develop. But the bottom line here with the Devil card towards the middle of the week, it is that once you do make these tough calls in these uh, drastic actions, right after that, you are going to have a clearance to do what you want, to do what you always wanted to do or to be where you always wanted to be uh, or, or to, how, how can I say, to interact with people that you always wanted to interact with. Of course, um, you have to be up to the task of making that decision or these actions. And if you don't do so, you are gonna still be in a, um, in a situation of, how can I say, in a situation of, of stagnation. But I do believe that the, if not all of you, almost all of you are going to say at the end of the day, well, the heck with it, you know, I mean, things cannot literally get any worse than that. So, because 10 of swords usually is, is referred to hitting the rock bottom. And you have a choice to make, really. I mean, either you're going to stay at the rock bottom or you will try to climb up and try and try. And the climb is difficult. I mean, it's not a walk in the park. So, yeah, that, that's why Ten of Swords in that case refers to the uh, these that tough call or, or a uh, 
really drastic measures and actions. And right after you do have your circumstances, you have already built those circumstances, you have the opportunity here to fulfill the needs that, or the desires, if I may say it that way, with the devil that you have so much strived for up until this point. Right after that, we do have an individual that shows up into your life, Libra. That is either the page, uh, that is either somebody you do know or somebody that is brand new that steps up seeing, you know, that right now you do have that liberty, that freedom and so on and so forth. And Page of Pentacles. Uh, these people, very slow by nature, and under a slow, I mean meticulous, they don't make any move whatsoever if the circumstances are not a perfect, and I mean perfectly perfect. And that's why a lot will be riding on you, because like I said beforehand, you do form the circumstances, and if you want that page to, to be uh, to take an initiative, the circumstances you forge needs to be perfect for them. Otherwise, you have to be the initiator, you have to be uh, the one on the lead. So, for example, if you are a female and you do have the understanding that the male needs to be the one, you know, who I can't say chase, but who takes the initiative, let's say it that way. And the page um, defines a, a male that shows up into your life or it's somebody that you already know, which the page pretty much points to. It's 90% to 10% of somebody you, you know and somebody that you are actually in a good terms with. Uh, but my point was that if you are a woman and that card describes a man and you want things to happen, you know, under on your turf, under your circumstances, and these circumstances are not ideal by the man, you have to be the leading force here. You need to be the one who calls. You need to be the one who asks to go out and so on and so forth. Other, uh, otherwise, it's not like they don't want to, but because the circumstances are not perfect for them, they will not have the guts to do it or to ask you out, you know, or to uh, pretty much gift you some kind of a present. But what you need to know, it is that outside and not just outside, but in general, Page of Pentacles, they are very devoted individuals. I mean, when they see it's not even an interest, it's more like a possibility for growth, career-wise or relationship-wise. These people, they do not give up uh, under any circumstances unless you do give up. So if that's, for example, a business partnership, you do have a, a business partner that will follow you within the deals and within the ordeals as well, you know, and within the, uh, the tasks that the business demands to, to the very end of what we do have here. Um, and it's not going to be, um, how can I say, there will, there will be no competition over who is the one who calls the, shot in, the shots. In fact, these people prefer somebody else to call the shots. And right after the page steps up, we do have the three of wands, and that is just the solidification that is towards, that is at the end of the week. So the page of pentacles steps up somewhere from the mid toward the end of the week. And this is how we do have you on the end of the week here with the Page of Pentacles. So together, uh, the, this card just solidifies your patterns, your circumstances and your foundation and solidifies your leading force into this cooperation. Either uh, it is a romantic interaction, friendship or a business partnership, co-working relationship. Three of, uh, three of Wands, it does describe that you do have the situation or the environment as perfect as possible. Uh, and whatever expectations you do have in regards to the endeavors in front of you and in regards to the Page of Pentacles, those expectations are to be met at the end of the week. But Three of Wands, it's also a challenging card because it says that you can get just so far holding on to the existing patterns and to the existing foundations. If you do want improvement in this relationship or in this business endeavor, you got to challenge yourself to do something more, to do something that goes beyond your limits, that kind of like lifts the bar of expectations and the bar of performance as well. So uh, that is uh, something you got to think about 
at the end of the week. I'm not saying that at the end of the week you got to do something crazy, but this is where the growth stops unless you do challenge yourself to do something more than you have done by now, right? To do something that un it's not unthinkable, but it is like something difficult for you to think of that you are going to do for the page of pentacles or for the business or for the relationship in general. Uh, so really, a uh, really good partnership it is what we do have here, guys, but that partnership develops right after you do liberate yourself from something that you are dragging on from your past. And in order to liberate yourself, like I said, that will require some quite determined decision making, which is going to be irrevocable. And uh, there is no going back after you do make that decision or a really, really drastic actions that are going to pretty much make a point that this is what you want and um, to either sever or to change or whatever your case is. And uh, right after that, uh, you get to decide what you're going to do with your life and the help or the, 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 how can I say, the addition to it is going to be this individual page of pentacles, which is coming around. So that being said, Libra, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.